Well hello folks, here we are with this week's Mayor's message from the Waratah Wynyard Council. Pretty proud moment this is. We're out at the Wynyard football ground and uh, the local Wynyard Cats have finished on top of the ladder, which gives them the right to host the first semi-final here on our home ground. And uh, we wish them all the best on Saturday against Alveston. But here with me, I've got our local historian, Rox Nair of the Wynyard Football Club. Rox has brought along two of the 1948 players that were last played in, that played in the last time Rox, would you like to enlighten us a little bit on um, that particular event or where we are at this moment with this week's uh, finals match here at Wynyard? Well, thank you, Robbie, and uh, great to be part of your message again. It doesn't seem that long since the uh, the last one, does it? No, the Rox there, Grandstand. But uh, yeah. this is a big occasion for the uh, for the Wynyard Football Club and for Wynyard uh, as well. Uh, as you said, 1948, uh, the last final played at the Wynyard Recreation Ground. And um, in 1948, the NWFU, as it was then, consisted of three divisions. There was the Eastern Division, which uh, involved the Latrobe, Devonport, East Devonport and Alveston clubs. There was the Western Division, which was Penguin, APPM, Burnie, Cooey, Yeoman and Wynyard. And there was the Far Northwestern Division, which was Forest, Stanley, Irish Town and Smithton. And the game here was the grand final of the Western Division between Wynyard and Cooey. And uh, Wynyard won that game and then they went on and played Stanley at West Park and they beat them there and then they went on and played East Devonport in what was actually the grand final of the NWFU. And unfortunately um, Wynyard lost that game by a few points. And uh, the coach of East Devonport that year was a chap the name of Bernie Waldron, who the year before or two years before had coached Wynyard. So he moved on to, um, yeah. to East Devonport. And uh, these two fellows here will uh, yep. well remember uh, Bernie Waldron and uh, the, uh, the movements of uh, him. And, and Wynyard in uh, 1948 were, uh, were coached by the, uh, the mighty redhead uh, known as, as Len Hayes. The, the NWFU was reformed in uh, 45 after the war, so 45, 6, 7 and 8, and it went into recess. Uh, prior to that, when you was in the Darwin Association, and the competition went into recess from 41 to uh, to 44. Gee, you're certainly a you're certainly a historian on the on the history, Rob. So I appreciate your knowledge. I don't know where we'd be without what you've put in your stored in your mind and in your documentation. But anyway, these two young fellas we've got here with us today, Peter Fulton and Neville French. They, did they play in the back pocket each? No, 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 oh, no. no. Neville was a half forward, ruck rover, goal kicker, and Peter was at the other end of the ground where he used to save the goals. Peter, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 they pretty relied on you, didn't they, Peter? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, we were back line, Neville. Yes. yes. Well, yeah. there you go. Well, welcome along, Neville and Peter. Yeah. Glad to have you on board for this week's Mayor's Message and uh, can you tell us some highlights of the game. What uh, what do you remember about the game? <laughs> there many I fights? I remember uh, Duncan Lord, John Bennett, the coach of Kiwi. Oh, did he? Yeah, that was only happened and the, the upset Claude, Claude dropped him. Oh, dear, oh dear. <laughs> he got put out for three weeks with it, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Claude didn't need much of an excuse, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Not then, no. No, but anyway. No, um, but you said uh, Bernie Walden the coaches in 1947 uh, too. 46 Six. and 47? Yep. Yep, yep. yep. And, and moved on to East Devonport in 48 then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Neville, did you have any uh, any arrest of your family in that time? No. <laughs> no, just no. you. What about brother Russ, Nev? No, 48. Okay, uh, yeah, 48? Yeah. Yep. Oh, 48, yeah, yep. this team, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And Peter, yeah. what about yourself? Did you have any family around here that's played too? No. no. Yeah. I was a hydro. Were you? Yeah. Gee. Oh, well. You were a hydro worker, were you yeah. not, Peter? Down where were you? Yeah. Kept at the stage of trade. Yeah. yeah. And where were you working with the hydro at the time? Well, the transmission line. Okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Peter, you were telling me earlier that you had an accident splitting, splitting a split, split with a splitting wedge that yeah. leading up to the game and you had yeah. stitches. Yeah, just down here the chin bone. Really? The side of the chin bone. You had a lot of, lot of stitches? Uh, only about five, I think. Really? And you played, that was during the week and you played on a Saturday? Yeah, done on a Tuesday, played on a Saturday. Really? So it was tough then? I had one kick. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. What, for the day? Yeah. Oh, Jiminy. It was the first kick that on the back line. Yeah. And that was it. Didn't come back there anymore. No, oh, all too heavy. Oh dear, <laughs> dear, oh dear. 
Uh, well, what else can we talk about? Um, tell us a bit more, Rox. Well, I, I need to refer to some notes here, but That's all right. as a matter of interest to the uh, our people in the community who watch your mass message, yes. I can give you the Wynyard team for the day. Go through it then. So please. from the back line we had Peter Fulton, oh, yes. Lyle Highland, and was it West Dunyam? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. The half back line was Jerry Atkin, <coughs> um, <coughs> Hayes, and Claude Duncan. Brian Hayes. Yeah. Brian Hayes. The uh, centre line was uh, Rex Sullivan uh, and Rex Jones on the wings. Uh, there was a Jay Hayes at uh, centre half back Neville. That be a misprint. That might have been Len that day, was it? I reckon that was Len picked at centre half back. And then the um, half forwards were um, Eric Sullivan. Uh, Russell French and Norman Taylor and the full forward line was Jackie Riley, Neville French at full forward and Hilton Dargable and the rucks were Ivor Clay, uh, Daryl Snare and Lance Ayton and the emergencies for Wynyard were uh, Tiger and uh, Teddy and Ty Tom Jones and Terry Highland so they were the Jake. members of that team. My brother Daryl was uh, was in that uh, in that team and of course he was uh, Electrocuted in a uh, work accident in 1949. So uh, listen, uh, was that Terry Highland? Yeah, yeah. I don't remember who He was a well, well a T Highland. I gather it was Terry. He yeah, was an emergency at the time. Paper too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I reckon Len Hayes must have been a misprint there. Says Jay. Len must have started centre half back that day. I reckon. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember. Uh, I remember the game actually, which is a bit strange. I was only 11 at the time, but uh, yep. I used to come here with my brother. Uh, he used to bring me in on the back of his motorbike and he used to leave the motorbike in the old stables at the top pub as we knew it then. But I do recall the game and uh, the mighty redhead Len Hayes, uh, he generally used to play centre half, back centre half, forward depending on the wind. So here if the, wind, the wind's going that away, he'd spend all day down in that part of the ground. He was a great player, Neville. Hey. He was a great player, Neville. The best I've ever seen. Yeah. Was he really? Yeah. yeah. Was he really? Yeah. The best football yeah. I've ever seen play. Yeah. Yeah. Really. And here, here, we, here we are, 66 years later, before we get another, the right to have a final on our home ground. Dave, so 66 you, years. Do you both plan to come along on the weekend to watch the match? Yeah, I'll be here. Yep. Come and no, no. Neville finds it a bit hard to yeah. make it now from, uh, from home. I can get out, but it's, it's getting there. <laughs> Well anyway, look, I reckon that's about wound us up for now. Um, I appreciate you two fine gentlemen coming along and Rock's organising it in his history. He's, um, um, you know, Rock's on the backbone, backbone of the wicket for the water when it yeah. comes to all this and I uh, appreciate your assistance in uh, bringing these people together today, Rock's. No worries, Robbie. It's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Much. you very much appreciate it, mate.